What's up guys, my name is Manu Smith and I've been working with audio since about 1990. Yeah, I'm that old. I worked in a recording studio in Brooklyn, New York, and then later opened my own studio where I recorded music, commercials, radio spots, and demos. I got into video editing around the early 2000s. What I usually see happen with video editors is they open up Premiere or any other editing software, they start dropping in, you know, music and video, and then they hit export. Unfortunately, when you decide to become an editor, you're typically doing it on your own. There's no one to hand the project off for audio editing to. It's just you. So not only do you have to be good at the visual stuff, but you also have to be good, really good at the audio stuff. I've always said that video is only one half of the story. Your audio is the other. So if you look at the Premiere Pro timeline or most timelines and editors, you'll find that the video fills the top half and the audio fills the bottom half, right? So you almost have to become an audio engineer of sorts. That's a scary position to be in, especially if you don't have any prior knowledge of decibels, waveforms, meters, inserts, EQ, and all that other stuff. So this series will help you become more familiar and better and more confident, making your audio just as impactful as your visuals. If you're using Premiere Pro, you're in luck. Adobe has included a suite of tools to help you go from good sound to great sound, but only if you know how to use them. So in this course, we'll start with what you should think about even before you hit that import button and bring in your audio assets. We'll then take a look at some of the tools available in Premiere, from the audio timeline to the meters and mixers, and also the plugins. We'll look at the Essential Sound Panel, Premiere's tool set for audio sweetening. We'll dedicate single chapters to working with music, dialogue, and voiceovers, and sound effects, and also ambient sound, which is important too. We'll also show you how to put the final polish on your project by doing what's called mastering. All right, without further ado, let's get started.